Wowza! That's amazing. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and y'all, I am ready for some fall makeup. Just warm, rich colors. I was really enjoying a smoky eye this week. Um, mostly a matte overall sort of a smoky eye. So yeah, that kind of color on the eyes. Um, love this cheek. I have kind of an edgy lip favorite and then also this more kind of neutral pinky kind of a lip favorite. Y'all, it was one of those days. Do you ever have those days where things just don't blend and the makeup application is just not going your way? It was one of those days. Normally I can fix it just, you know, kind of like applying a different color on top and re-blending and whatever, but I had to wash off this eye twice. I don't know what the deal was. It's not the products because I've used these products many times before and not had blending problems before with them. It was just, you know, those just kind of off days with blending. So it's one of those days. So don't mind this eye. It just, I'm not, I'm still not totally happy with how it looks right now, but y'all don't mind. I know y'all don't expect perfection around here because we're not about perfection around here. We're just about having fun, loving makeup, and hanging out together. So yeah, let's hang out and chat about some favorites. Let's get to it. So quick honorable mention to the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Palette. This palette is not around anymore, so I'm not gonna spend much time talking about it because that's kind of torture if you don't already have it. But this was from HSN last year and I just absolutely love this palette. It is one of my absolute favorite fall sort of palettes. I love the color story. I love the blend. I mean, I just, I love the quality. It's an awesome palette. So honorable mention to that palette. But I also used my Tarte Tartlet Toasted, Tarte Tartlet Toasted palette this week. And this is such a great warm tone palette. Oh my goodness. If you love these kind of colors, these um, terracotta, warm sort of shades, coppery sort of shades, this is a palette you would love. There's the claw hand again. <laughs> um, I have some of this in my crease. I have some of this in my crease. Um, I mean, I wore this one this week. I have a tiny little bit of this on. I mean, everything in this palette is amazing. What else can I swatch? I have one more. I'll swatch this one up here for you. There are so many options with this palette. You can go wowza. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, you can go super neutral with this palette or you can go like I went with a super smoky dark sort of an eye look. So pretty. Man, the quality of these shadows. Amazing. So gorgeous. This reminds me a lot of NARS Galapagos. That was an old school, just OG YouTube eyeshadow favorite. I remember that one being talked about years ago. So that reminds me a lot of that shade. But look at these. I mean, you can see pigmented, blendable, Tarte's eyeshadow formula is definitely a soft eyeshadow formula. So I will get the product on my brush, tap off my brush a lot, and I kind of build it up slowly because if you get a ton of product on your brush, you're gonna have it everywhere. You're gonna have it all over your eyes, way too much product, um, and just, it's gonna be more difficult to blend. So just get a tiny amount of shadow on your brush, tap off your brush, apply that and then go back in and kind of build up slowly just because it's so pigmented and it is that soft sort of a formula but you can see it's great quality and just i mean doesn't that just scream fall oh and with my shirt it's like all the fall colors so exciting i did get a pumpkin spice latte i did but you know what the thing with that is i've liked that i have loved pumpkin spice lattes long before they were even a thing, before they were basic and the Instagram thing, I've loved them for years. I get half the pumps though, they're too sweet otherwise. So if they're too sweet for you and you don't like them, get half the pumps of the pumpkin mix and then it's really good. Also played around with more of these from Too Faced. They sent these to me a while back. 
the Too Faced Melted Chocolate Matte Eyeshadows. So I played with several of them, but this one was the standout. I have this on my lids today. This is Amaretto, and it is such a pretty color. Again, it's very fall, but I feel like it's unique too, because this one is almost like, I don't know how to describe this, a fall rose <laughs> kind of a color because it looks rosy, but then it has that warmth, that like terracotta undertone to it, which is just beautiful. And you can see, I mean, nice and pigmented and creamy. So I've used these in different ways. I find that they are easiest to work with if you use a clean brush. That's so important. If you use a brush, like if you use it one day, apply it with a brush one day, and then you go to use that brush the next day, you're going to have blending problems because you're, you know, you have dried product on your brush. So don't be like me and don't do that. <laughs> use a clean brush. So I use a clean brush and I like to use one of the lighter colors first and blend into the crease um, and then use a darker color on the lid. You can use your finger, but I just find that I can't get precision trying to use my fingertip to apply them. So I prefer to use a brush, usually a synthetic brush, almost always. Um, less is more and a clean brush. So the, those are just some application tips. I did use these in a video when I first got them, so you can kind of see me using them um, and see them in action, but just beautiful. I mean, they pack a punch. This looks like a liquid lipstick in a swatch, doesn't it? That'd be a pretty liquid lipstick color. Yeah, anyway, it's awesome. Love my blush favorite this week. So this is from Honest Beauty. They sent me a really sweet package, so this was in that package. So this is the Lit Powder Blush. Lit Powder Blush. And this is in the shade Frisky. So I do have this on my cheeks today. Oh my goodness. Really impressed with this blush. Pretty packaging to it. This is really nice and thick and sturdy feeling plastic, so that's nice. I like that you can see the color through it, so that's nice as well. When I first got this, I was like, whoa, I'm gonna have to be very light-handed with this. And I do, but it still totally works for me. So don't be afraid of this color, because it's really beautiful. I mean, in a full-on swatch, it's very pigmented. But that makes it so versatile. I mean, so many skin tones are gonna be able to wear this color. Just beautiful. So I apply this with an e.l.f. small stipple brush and just kind of buff it into the container and then buff it on my cheeks. Blends like a dream. No trouble blending it. It's beautiful. And it has this soft, lit from within glow. So I don't have a highlighter on today. So any of that glow that you see is this. Just a really pretty, subtle sort of a illumination to it. I absolutely love it. And color-wise, it's kind of a, oh, how would I even describe this? Like a, a warm plum, like a reddish plum sort of a color. It's very fall as well. So I have it with full on dark eyeshadow today, but it would be really pretty with a lighter eye look as well. It's great. Love the formula, love the color. Okay, and then for lips. So the edgy lip favorite that I was really enjoying this week is this one. This is from Milani, Milani Matte Naked, Matte Naked. And it's really, I feel like a pretty unique, sort of a neutral color. Um, I don't know why that, I mean, this swatch is ginormous now. Trying to get it even, and now we just have a ginormous swatch. So there's the ginormous swatch of it. You see, it's, it's kind of a unique color, because it is a nudie sort of a shade, but it's very sort of warm tone. It almost has a lavender gray sort of an undertone, so that gives it that kind of edginess, especially on. It's really pretty. So I liked it with these sort of eye looks too because it was just edgy. Just edgy all over and also kind of um, contrasting where you have more of a cool toned lip and then more of a warm toned eye look. Just cool. Just sort of different. I do like the formula of these lipsticks, the matte. Um, I wouldn't say it's not the most comfortable matte lipstick. It almost has a powdery feeling on the lips, especially as it dries down. I don't mind that. I like matte lipsticks, but just FYI, it is more of that 
um, not matte, well yeah matte, but like powdery feeling matte lipsticks formulas. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And then the lipstick that I have on right now, I think this is so good. Beautiful color, love the formula. So this is also from Honest Beauty, and this is actually a tinted lip balm, and this is in the shade Summer Melon. Summer Melon. This is a live in your purse kind of a lip product. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I love this for so many reasons. So it has a subtle vanilla scent to it, very much like a MAC lipstick, so I love the scent of it. It's not overpowering, it's just that subtle vanilla. Such a pretty color. It's a sheer but really glossy neutral warm pink sort of a shade. It's so good. It's really comfortable on the lips, feels very hydrating. It does feel more, more like a lip treatment. So absolutely love how it feels on the lips. It is, you know, kind of a balm sort of packaging to it. You can see through it, so that's pretty. Um, I do have a tiny bit of lip liner on with it. I have Wet n Wild uh, Bear to Comment, so just a little bit of, you know, a neutral lip liner with it. Just to give a little bit more shape and dimension, but I just have that around just the outsides of my lips, just for a little bit more dimension. Um, but the color that you're seeing is mainly just my natural lip color and then also the balm. So yeah, glossy, hydrating, comfortable, just a little wash of color, but you can build it up. It's so, so good. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving lately or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.